A step-by-step -step guide to Bezos rocket crashes after liftoff, only experiments aboard media.k.jvala. It was the 23rd trip for the new Shepard program, named after the primary American in space, Mercury space traveler Alan Shepard. It was the 10th trip for the specific rocket case pair, which was devoted to flying trials. Blue Origin has focused on spaceflight the travel industry, with even Bezos himself going on an outing to space in the new Shepard rocket. Be that as it may, the in-flight disappointment could have suggestions for the fate of the developing business, despite the fact that Monday's main goal didn't highlight crew members. New Shepard Framework has tried its group get away from framework various times preceding human spaceflight, including during an arranged situation precisely like Monday's event, this is whenever it first has at any point been utilized during a mission. There's a fine line that every entrepreneur must walk when building a business. On the one hand, you must remain optimistic and see opportunity where others see failure or danger. On the other hand, you can't let your optimism blind you to realistic risks and downsides to any plan. The great business leaders are able to balance both optimism and pragmatism in their decision-making process. In that light, it may seem as though Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos has some work to do in balancing those two sides of his strategic thinking after the disastrous failure of his new Shepard rocket test last week. While most casual observers might write off the crash as no big deal after all, rockets sometimes fail the whole fiasco raises some red flags about the long-term future of Blue Origin. Booster failure on today's uncrewed flight. Escape system performed as designed. Blue Origin at Blue Origin, September 12th. 2022. What went wrong with the new Shepard? The new Shepard rocket booster itself didn't fail. As a prototype, it was designed to break apart and fail as soon as it reached its peak altitude. The real test was supposed to come with the launch of the new Shepard's new Shepard crew capsule, which was supposed to fire its own engine and make a controlled descent to a landing pad in the Texas desert. The problem, as it turned out, was that the new Shepard's engine failed to ignite. That meant the capsule didn't have the power to slow its descent enough to land safely and was instead left to tumble out of control until it crashed into the desert. Will Bezos ever be able to launch people? The new Shepard test crash makes it more likely that Blue Origin won't be able to launch people on its suborbital new Shepard rocket until 2021 at the earliest. The test was intended to show that the company could safely launch and land the same rocket booster again and again. By the company's own admission, the test failed to meet its objectives. And even if the next test flight is a success, it will take time and resources to patch the new Shepard's problems and make it safe enough to launch people. That will put further strain on the company's already tight budget. Blue Origin's Longer-Term Prospects Blue Origin's long-term prospects remain uncertain. The company has never been profitable and has never attempted to make a profit. In fact, Bezos has invested so much in Blue Origin that his company is one of Amazon's biggest expense items. Bezos is also funding another private space company, Planetary Resources, and is the owner of the Washington Post newspaper. Given that financial reality, it's possible that Bezos will decide at some point that Blue Origin's work is done. After all, the company's primary goal is to develop technologies that will help lower the cost of space exploration. If Bezos succeeds in that mission, then he'll have accomplished what he set out to do. If Bezos does decide to pull the plug on Blue Origin, then it's possible that his company's technologies and expertise will have been so valuable to the rest of the space industry that other companies will buy Blue Origin out and make it part of their operations. That sort of buyout would certainly be in keeping with Blue Origin's low-key, behind-the-scenes approach to space exploration. 
Conclusion In the end, the new Shepard test crash may be more of a PR disaster for Blue Origin than a real one. The company's finances are robust enough to absorb the setback, and its engineers have plenty of time to fix the problems and get their new Shepard rocket system back in working order. Blue Origin's long-term goals of lowering the cost of space travel and making space travel a more common pursuit are both achievable. The company just needs to keep working at them and not be discouraged by a setback here or there.